welcome back to Wronged. Uh, we're continuing where we left off of just, just playing this game. We're going to be getting all the endings and wrapping the game up, so let's get back into it. You know what really bugs me is actually the silence in the game. I'm, like, expecting a jump scare, and I don't like it. I'm also... There's, like, this subtle banging, but otherwise absolute silence as I wander this house not knowing what could happen while looking for eyeballs. Oh! Oh! I put the eyeballs here! Oh, don't tell me it's asking me to cut my own eye. A blue eye. It's gross. Oh, wait, what? I can open this now? What? Why? Lie. The fuck is this meant for? Like, the whole time that shower fucking goddamn... Ugh. Lie. Is it a sp Medication? A spice? I don't know what it is. Um... Hmm, curious. Maybe I should Google what the fuck it's for, but at the same time, eh. I'll just continue looking around. Oh, mix and fill. The fuck is lie? Splash it on the baby? No. Lie in a bucket. Hmm. He splashed on the ceiling thing. Oh. Oh, hammer. I can't climb up. See, this game just keeps going. Not complaining. But hammer. Originally, I thought the hammer would be for... Uh... Smashing the glass, but no, nah, it's gonna be the wardrobe. We can finally find out what's in here. Oh, just a key. Really? All that? All that for a key? Oh, here I thought it was like a life size wardrobe because something was gonna be fucking in it, but. Um. It could be for a lot of things. I'll check. No? Okay. I'm gonna unfortunately think it's gonna be the basement door. I don't like going in the basement. Oh, the ladder. Okay. But seriously, the difference of killing the baby versus not, it's gonna bug me until I beat the game probably multiple times. But we'll find out at least what was I was missing, so do, playing the game all over again two or three times, it won't be, uh, won't be a big deal. Because one ending already was cutting your arm off, feeding the baby, the baby vanishes, and then you don't know what the fuck happens. Alright, but ladder. Let's find out what's in the attic. Weird shit? Spooky shit? The other eyeball, simply? Oh. Okay, then. Let's just back up slowly. Something is in. So the something isn't doors closing or it in the wardrobe. It's, it's the thing in the attic. I can't close it. Okay, well, we got the last eye. Change eyes. Okay. Hey. Why? I did cut my eyes and just fucking Naruto Sharingan I plucked but with scissors and and inserted three eyes? Where the fuck would I put the third one? 
in my mouth. I'll make a third eye. It still doesn't answer what's in the uh, the kitchen cupboard, unless that's just something else. But I can't turn that off. Fantastic. Well, let's go back in the basement and find out what we can do. What? Black? What? Don't tell. Oh, that was intended. What? I thought I was fucking like, it was like a bug and I fell off the map. I was scared. Oh, okay. Please don't hurt me. No moral quandaries about this. Your host should be regarded as the, the tamer? I don't know. Is cows or sheep? It, it has sound, cruel, but consider how insig... I, what? It seems like gibberish, whatever. Please don't hurry. Okay, fine. I have an offering. I have meat. Who are you? Oh, you so... Is that a is that a fuck is that a pig and it's just pissing itself? It is it literally a pig lying down its own piss? I'm what? And the whole cutout was very compar very similar to the. In the closet hole. I'm not sure if that's supposed to have meaning, but okay. Crush. Crush. Let's not crush it. I want to try to. I mean, I already killed the baby, so I mean, do we have any other choice down here? It's. We got the three eyes, and we're going to crush a fucking baby pig. Okay. What? Oh, right, we're still going. Oh, it's morning. It was all a dream. Yep, just all a dream. But we still have a clogged sink. Oh, the sink. The sink fixed itself. That's fucking wonderful. That would have triggered me. I don't want to go outside. That's probably what the game wants me to do. So it'll be the last thing I do. We can't go in that still. That's gonna trigger me too. Uh, just a play. Okay. Let's roam around to see what changes have happened and what the note is still there. What if we. We can climb up. Exactly what I was hoping for. The monster. The monsters are still there. Oh, it's still dark. Spooky. Oh! See, the game would have ended probably if I went through the front door. Remember that even if one of us should be defeated, there are still hundreds of thousands, if not millions more of us out there. As a collective, we span the entire globe. Many of us hold prestigious positions in firms, banks, industry, media, the arts, and it would take a miracle to bring us down. Page Infinity. I'm going to presume it's going to show up behind me. Oh. Well, that's surprising. So it was just... an interesting Easter egg and a threat? But that's it? Ugh. Strange. I'll look around a little bit more and then go out to the front door. I thought I was going to get like some kind of bad ending where the monster would still be there. They're crushing the pig, though. They're supposed to be symbolically the... I, I, I'm not even going to try to analyze what the fuck happened. Killing this ant demon baby, and then there's a pig in a pit, and I crushed it. It asked me, it asked to not be killed, because pigs can do that. And it's lying on a bed of its own piss. I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else. It's just, that's it. We can leave now. But the thorough search of at least the note in the attic... 
probably is a nice touch people appreciate. Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm I'm just very confused. E. I'll replay the game, um, and not kill the baby, and also not die of blood loss by cutting my arm off. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Uh, unless there's an item that exists that didn't exist previously. I can't open that. I'll exhaust my options before I cut off my arm. Because there doesn't seem to be more I can do, really. I have the bucket. I have the knife and the crowbar. But there's nothing else. Like, literally, what would be stopping me is... Oh, the umbilical cord, which would then present the eyes on the wall, which would then bring the shit, uh, which would then get it. So I go in the in the hole in the wall, which then brings the flesh mound, which then opens the shower stall so I can get the lye and then mix the bucket and go in the attic and do all that stuff. But I need the umbilical cord to go through that path. Um, but there's nothing I can do besides kill the baby. But if we do that... The path would just become the same as what I just did, so... Let us take the arm and see if there's anything we can do in this armless state, besides possibly just dying of blood loss before even giving it to the baby. I'll see if there's anything else I can do. Nope, the hole is still closed up. Something, it's unlocked, but something is holding it shut. It's for the attic. I guess, really, just the path is just to feed the baby the arm. That's it. There's only two endings then. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna double check the game store page. This video is becoming too long. Yeah, it says, it wronged has multiple pathways for multiple endings. In the screenshots, weirdly, it also shows the baby's position has moved. It says multiple. It's not, it's not specific. I don't like it. Nope. No. I, I checked the Steam thread and forum. Everyone just says multiple endings. And uh, no one says anything about a third ending. So I'm going to presume multiple means two. I don't know. They could just say two. Just so I'm not left in the dark as I am right now, thinking, huh, I wonder if there's a third one. Can I just kill you? What if I... That'd be actually interesting. I cut my arm off, but I don't feed the baby. Hmm. I'm still gonna pass out. Might be the mystical third ending. I killed the baby rather than feeding it my arm after chopping off my arm. That was a pathway I actually didn't think about just till just now. I was like, yeah, I chopped off my arm, but killed the baby. Indeed, very peculiar. Okay, but um, we'll see if the ending is the exact same. It'd be kind of stupid. That the choice is, obviously you can still feed the baby because that's what you're supposed to do, but you can stab the baby. So what happens... When we go up the stairs. Oh, 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 no. No, no! Or is I too slow? I just died. I think. That's another ending. Just die of blood loss. What if I moved faster? As soon as you blank out on the bed, you have to possibly move fast. Because I stopped moving and I kept dropping. So maybe... I can make some- I can go somewhere in the house afterwards, but the slower you are, the more you're just gonna- you, like, if I stood there after waking up, you're on a time limit, an invisible time limit. Let me try that again. I'll chop off my arm. I mean, I, I'm still curious on what happened when I did feed the baby the arm too, though, so I'm gonna experiment and I'll skip ahead. I wanna see if there's something I can do once the arm is chopped off. Whether I feed the baby or stab the baby, I want to know what can and does happen. Alright, let's go fast. You gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, or am I destined to always collapse at the top of the stairs? Uh, uh, okay. 
No, but that definitely, this is definitely a third ending. Uh, you just pass out on the stairs. Too weak. Oh, okay, I can skip fucking loud noises, good. Uh, I'm gonna now stab the baby. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab the baby, just because I want to see what actually happens, because before, as was shown in the recording, I just got pushed down the stairs. Like, did I get pushed down into the, the cult pig lair? Maybe? I don't know. No cleaning the baby. We're stabbing, stabbing the baby. Actually, what? No, wait. Sorry, that was feeding the baby the arm, so I have to. Alright, so I feed the baby, and I pass out. Yeah, see, now the screen, unlike the one where I just stabbed the baby anyways after cutting my off, my arm off, it's not white. So yeah, I could successfully say I got three endings, and people say it's two endings, well, they're just wrong. So what the fuck happens when I climb out? It's just, I pass out? I think it's just pa but what the fuck knocks me down? Yeah, what the... I think maybe that's just a bug, and you're meant to just pass out on the stairs, just like you would when you stab the baby with your arm cut off, but... The, the, that's just wrong. Multiple endings, I presume three. There could be a fourth, and I just haven't found it, but out of all the variables I just thought up of, of, you know, arm off, arm on, stab the baby, feed the baby, uh, stabbing the baby and going through and then escaping, uh, it's one of the people in the Steam threads posted their theory. It makes the most sense. And I will read it, actually, because I, I don't want to try to word it out. Um... So yeah, one of the people had posted their theory saying the character plays as a woman who is held captive in her own house by a man who had been stalking her. The captor kept her in the basement, raping her, causing the woman to get pregnant. And the game begins with the woman giving birth to the captor's child following the events of the perspective of a severely mentally disturbed individual who has gotten tired of being wronged and is going to fight back. Um, so I'm going to yeah, presume it's, it's that. Because when you think of the thing that was in the attic, it had the uh, the stretched hole in its face, but rectangular. So I'm going to presume that was the captor in the attic. Uh, the stalker is the thing that would be hiding in her attic. So you could think of it like that. The attic was someone who snuck into her house one night and st took refuge in hiding in her attic. Uh, he would, I guess, like just rape her and then continue hiding around in her house in the attic, in the walls, uh, and then she gave birth to the baby, and its face is clearly of the captor or of the kidnapper or stalker that is hiding in her house, because their faces are the same, or it's meant to be symbolically representative that the baby has no face because the character you're playing, the mother, rejects the baby and it has no face because there's just no love, uh, rather than, you know, the baby's face and it being your, you know, genetically your face, so you, they have facial features of you, it's just complete rejection baby. It, it just has the captor's face, and all the mother uh, sees in the baby is the rapist's face in the baby. Um, so, the choice of killing the baby because it's the rapist's baby, the captor's baby, and, and the pig, I guess, symbolically would mean, I mean, you killed the baby, I guess then you've been wronged, the pig is meant to be, I guess, fucking, you know, if the, if a person calls a man a pig, so to speak. So the captor, the pig symbolically is killing the rapist in his sleep. But he's like symbolically viewed as a little baby pig. Where the captor's trying to live with her afterwards. I don't know about the whole please don't kill me thing. Because if the pig is supposed to be theorized as the captor, kidnapper, and rapist. What was with the whole please don't kill me thing? And lying in his own urine. It's kind of confusing, but I'm going to presume it's meant to be interpreted as the male, or maybe her husband, if she has a husband, or had a husband, even so? I don't know. I have no idea, but that, uh... Something around those lines sounds like an accurate and plausible theory to the story. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, 
become a subscriber, hit that notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Mm.